What's up all you addicts out there? Thank you so much for joining another addicted video. Today we're on mission and the mission is to try to catch a fish in a river that's flowing 17,000 cubic feet per second. Basically what's happened in the last couple days is we've gotten like inches and inches of rain and all the rivers have become extremely flooded and this is the only river within hundreds of miles that it's even fishable for us. So we're gonna give it hell. Hopefully we can catch one. I got my buddy Colt here with me. Colt, if you guys didn't know, is the one that ships all your packages. So if you guys are on our Addicted website and you're buying things, Colt's the one that's shipping it for you. So we appreciate all the support. Let's go catch some fish. Get on that, dude. I'm trying. You didn't even cast out there. You were like way closer in. I didn't cast where I should have, you are correct. Oh yeah, one, another one just rolled out there. Okay, so what we're doing here, everyone, as you can see, the river is just absolutely pushing a lot of current. So what we're gonna try to do all day today is find little spots like this, where basically we got these inside soft water seams where it's really the only place these fish could be hiding and the only place you could have fish your lures and everything that we're using from the bank effectively. And what I think is gonna happen, hopefully, is a lot of these fish are gonna be pulling into these little side seams and we'll be able to twitch them out of there or catch them with wigglers or however we can get them to bite, but just gotta find out and see. Damn, it's freaking, it must be deep as hell in there. It takes forever for my jig to fall. Oh yeah, I got him. And got that tree in there. It's the one thing about high water, everyone. You lose a lot of jigs. All right, everyone. Let's figure out what color I want to use here. Ooh. What about that one? The old cream sickle. Maybe the blurple? Ooh, what about the Seahawk? What am I feeling here? What am I feeling? I just don't know. I had a black on black on. So part of me wants to use something brighter. Dude, I'm thinking I might use Creamsicle. Maybe I should use Disco. Or New York Jet. Damn it, dude, there's just so many options. I don't know what to use. A lot of you guys out there are probably wondering why our packaging is, some of them are in here, some of them are in here when you see them on the shelf. We're right in the middle of like a packaging transition. So I apologize if you're seeing stupid packaging on our jigs, it's kind of annoying, but we're working on fixing it. Ooh, if I can find one of those in a one ounce, that's what I need to use, dude. The chartreuse freaking purple right there there's the one folks chartreuse yellow head green chartreuse collar purple tail that's gonna get them all you addicts out there or anyone watching if you're watching our videos let's all do the world a favor and take your damn trash with you i've been seeing a lot of trash on the riverbanks and it's just a super sad thing to see us anglers out here are really the ones that should be advocating for our public access and really wanting to protect these areas that we have that we can fish. And the reality is, is if you're throwing your trash on the bank, well, all these areas are gonna get shut down. So everyone out there, let's just make a huge effort to try to pick up trash. And me and Colt are gonna do that today. You know what? Today, as we're walking the bank, any trash or anything that we find, we're gonna try to pick up and see how much trash we can pick up today on this episode. Because I just think we all should be doing that. So let's try to make an effort out there, everyone. What are you doing over there, bud? Well, I had a wind knot, and then I tried to get it out, and then I pulled on it, and then my braid broke, so now I have to splice it back together while my jig's out there somewhere, just sitting on the bottom, probably gonna get snagged. Jeez, that sounds really neat. So basically what you're telling me is I snapped off and broke, you got something, I don't even know what the hell's going on with you, and probably there's like 20, 30 coho sitting in there right now, not getting they caught. Ah. 
So the other thing we're gonna be doing a lot today, everyone, is we're gonna be fishing heavy, heavy jigs. We make a one ounce twitching jig, so we make a three quarter, a one ounce, and a half ounce. So there's a couple reasons why we do that. The first reason is because these jigs that we make, they use a special material. It's like a fiber material, almost kind of like a deer hair, but it's a pri proprietary material that's patented by this guy, and he lets us use his technology. But basically, when these things hit the water, they hold a really, really big body. You're gonna see that even if you dip this thing right now, right, this is fresh out of the package. If I just dip it in the water, see how much the jig, like barely, it doesn't soak up as much water. Like if, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still a part of this fiber after I just completely submerged it that's kind of dry looking. And so the reason that we like that with our jigs and the reason we think these things fish really, really good is because as you're twitching them through the water, they hold a solid body. So those fish can really see those things coming from a long ways as they're looking up. They just work really, really well. So that's kind of why we went with this material, but that's also why we went with bigger heads because the reality is, is when you have this much body on a jig and this much material, you need a heavier head to make sure that you get that falling action. Because when you're fishing for coho and you're twitching, the most important thing is that when you pull that jig up, that you get that really good fall, drop, pull it up, fall and drop because that drop is what's gonna make those fish bite. So it's part of the reason why we went with heavier jigs. We also found that on a lot of the rivers that we fish, they're deep, you know, 20, 30, sometimes 40 foot holes that you potentially could be fishing. So it's nice to have a heavier jig, works extremely well. Do not sleep on the one ounce. It worked, I'm good now, I'm fishing again. So hopefully it doesn't break but hook fish. Okay, okay. Now we're fishing here. Everyone, what should we call this jig? I've been struggling to come up. We always have little nicknames for all of our jigs. We got the Blurple, we got the Black on Black. I just don't know what we should call this. So drop some comments below. What should this jig be called? Maybe like the Joker? But I feel like people already call jigs that. We gotta come up with something unique, something new. What is this? What is this jig? Oh, you little bastard. Dude, I think I'm dead serious. I think if we hold it out in here and we're patient, we're catching one out of here. There's there's just too many of them that are moving in there and rolling. Almost should go where Colt's out, everyone. It's kind of the move. Can I get there though is the question. See, this is the disadvantage of not having waders. There's some rocks down there you could probably hop along. Should have brought waders. I'm an idiot. Oh, now they're dead. Now they're freaking dead, folks. This is what I should have been doing. Another one just rolled down there. They're in here, dude. We just got to get them. Come on, baby. Just get one pulled in here. Nice cromer. Have me some coho on the Green Mountain Grill tonight. Come on, baby. Get one. I don't know, dude, if we freaking hammer this for a while and we can't find any. Might just have to make our way towards the old hatchery crowd. That's kind of a good, that's kind of a good talking point that we could get going in the comments, guys, is like, how long do you give a spot? You know, when you when you pull up to a spot and you're fishing it for a while, like, what do you guys think? Like, how long do you typically give a spot before you're like, you know what, we should go somewhere else? And I feel like there's a lot of different circumstances that, that play in that. Like, if you're in a hatchery spot, obviously there's gonna be fish flowing in all day. Um, so it's kind of a weird question, but like, just curious, what all you guys think? Let's hear your synopsis down in the comments. That might be too big of a word, I don't know. I got freaking Colt so good right there. Scared me. Uh, Sometimes that actually happens. If only. Oh, I just saw another one roll. We're going down there. Dude. Are we? I've seen way too many roll down there. Way too many. We gotta go down there, dude. I think that tree's like holding them up or something. That's like. They like the tree? Look, another one just rolled. Oh, yeah, dude. Like we gotta go down there. Okay.
You almost have to be up here, Colt. Way better twitching in there. Yeah. I can like actually my my jig is like falling and stuff. <laughs> oh, this is the spot, dude. Probably not very smart, but this is the spot. Come on, baby. I need to cast farther up river. My jig keeps getting drugged down. I feel way more confident about twitching in here. I'm getting a way better line. I'm just getting a good twitch. Well, I suck. All right, everyone, time to move spots. We're gonna go to the hatchery and check it out real quick. That's where a lot of these fish are heading is to the hatchery. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, see if we can find something there. And then we got another plan to go all the way around to the other side of the river and check that out if we can't find anything at the hatchery. So we're on a mission right now, we're on a mission. It doesn't look like we're getting through that. It kind of looks like the trail might go back on the land right here. I can't really tell. Oh yeah, it looks like it goes back into the woods. This is why people have boats. Are you going to be good to walk through this? How high do you reach? No, I'm not going to be able to. Where, how far are we from the... Yeah, there's no way. That's lame. Sean's in bibs too. That's what we get for not bringing waders. Let the record be known. I, I definitely confided in Colt before I left to see if I should wear waders. And he said, oh, you should be fine. I'll just wear your bibs, it'll be good. We oh, both no. kind of agreed that the bibs would be fine, but uh, they weren't. Sean's in bibs, I'm in bibs, Colt's in waders. Might have to give Colt the chest cam and send him on a single mission. All right, here we go. Oh, it's getting deep back here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm up to like thighs. This is getting nuts. Now I'm up to my waist. Hopefully it starts to get a little bit more shallow back here somewhere. Oop, definitely not. It's getting deeper. I'm gonna pick that up. Take it home, throw it in the garbage. Oh, the log's just floating. This is scary. Alrighty tiptoeing right now. Land ho. That felt weird. Hard to make a cast in here. Banks coming all the way into the trees. So if you guys can see here, there's a point up there throwing off this seam. And all this water on this side of the seam is a back eddy. And with the river as high as it is, it's hauling butt out there. But on the other side of the seam, nice back eddy where all the coho might stack up. That's why I hiked all the way back here, but I haven't seen one roll and I haven't hooked anything yet. So give it a little bit longer and see if I can get one. 
found someone's keys addicts and it just so happens that they literally have an addicted tail out twitcher on their key ring these don't look like they've been here very long um ford what do we do about this sean that is so funny what are the odds that we would find someone's keys that literally have an addicted tail out twitcher on the freaking key ring I feel so bad for this guy or girl who lost these. I wish I could figure out how to help them. Well, I've been looking for trash all day. I finally found some. We're gonna take that with us. Oh, and some more. Some Otis Funkmeyer and Grandma. Someone was eating some cookies. Some little batteries or something. Sometimes when you're picking up trash, you might find little treasures. It looks like that broke off someone's trailer or something. <laughs> Two pieces of trash right next to each other. Someone's freaking sandwich bag. And a little organic fruit wrapper, which those are good. You can get those at Costco. Well. I guess now we just hope that hope that Colt catches one until we can go to the next spot. Marlin's forgotten item of the day. Waiters. Idiot. Why didn't I think to bring waiters? Why? Why would I not wear waiters? What was I thinking? All right. Taking off the spinner, and I'm gonna try the addicted fall drop plug red edition we'll see good to go seen like three or four roll all right well time to walk back through the swamp yeah so that's where the river's supposed to be it's out there where the current is and it's waist deep back here into the trees This log is either going to roll and I'm going to get soaked or I'm going to somehow survive it. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, that, uh, that isn't too solid. Oh, the log there. It was like almost nipple deep back there going through the woods. I'm like soaked here down. I saw like three roll and that was it. Nothing fantastic. Oh, here we go, baby. Where are we at? What's the name of this place? I don't know. It's the Taqueria. It's good. This right here was a carne asada burrito. You cannot eat without a little green sauce. Fire. So good. All right, everyone, well, me and Colt suck. We couldn't catch a fish, so here we are eating some carne asada burritos. But while we're eating these burritos, we thought we couldn't have this be a fishless episode. So Sean's gonna play and roll just some of our favorite coho catches over the years. Some of the most epic moments that we've ever captured in this fun little compilation video that's coming up right now. Woo! <laughs> 
stomping. Just a specimen of a salmon. Nice <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that's a giant one, dude. And you're about to get him. Oh my god. Got, got him. Got him. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was cool. Absolute freaking beast. Got him. Oh. <laughs> That jig's on fire today. Hell yeah. Look at that. I mean, I bet I'd hate to tell you how many that one's caught. That was a delicious burrito. Colt, thanks for going fishing. It was a fun day. I hope you guys liked that little fun compilation. Those are some of my most favorite shots. I absolutely love that shot of that coho eating that jig underwater. Thank you guys so much. Again, I gotta give a huge shout out to all you. The fall drop was insane. You guys came out in droves and purchased from the drop. There still is a bunch of apparel, a bunch of really cool stuff in the drop. So if you haven't had a chance to shop our fall drop, link in the description. And that is how you're able to help us keep this guy employed. So. You guys are really supporting Addicted and helping us grow and we have like four or five full-time employees now and it's all because of the support from all you addicts out there. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the river.